OK, so this section is all about bivariate data. Uh, effectively, we're talking about two variables. OK, so that's where this word is really coming from. And subsequently, because you have two variables, when you plot them, you'll have one on one axis and one on the other. And so you would be plotting a scatter graph. OK, so this is uh, bivariate data. OK, and what we're investigating is really all the things to do with scatter graphs that uh, you would have learnt at GCSE, uh, but then really extending them and pushing them forward, okay, to make it a little bit more useful and to really understand what it's showing you a bit more. So one thing uh, that's key with bivariate data um, is understanding how you draw it. So if you have two variables, okay, Let's say, let's, uh, let's come up with a problem. Let's say um, we're looking at the number of people in a lift. OK, that's one variable. And the second variable is uh, the total weight. OK, of people in the lift. OK, so they are the two variables. So when you're plotting a scatter graph, which one of these should go on your horizontal x-axis and which one should go in the vertical y-axis? You might be thinking, well, it doesn't really matter. OK, um, and in some cases, um, that's true. Uh, but there is a, a generic uh, concept that goes with this, that the horizontal axis should be the independent variable, while the vertical axis should be the dependent variable. And what that means is that this variable is independent of the other and does not rely on the other, while this one depends on this variable, OK? So this, in context problems, it's quite, it's usually quite straightforward to figure out which one should be which. So does the number of people in the lift depend on the total weight? Or does the total weight depend on the number of people in the lift? OK, now think about that for a moment. Does the number of people in the lift depend on the total weight? Or does the total weight depend on the number of people? So it's the latter. Okay? The total weight will depend on the number of people in the lift. So the total weight is the dependent variable. While the number of people in the lift is the independent variable. And so you should plot number of people along the x-axis and total weight of the y-axis. OK? Um, so that is how you would generally do it. So the, another way to think of the independent variable is the one that you have some control over. OK? I have control over the number of people that are going into the lift, for example. That is something that I could control. Whereas their total weight... Um, I have no control over, OK? Now, in some cases, if I just gave you a set of numbers uh, with no context whatsoever, and I said, uh, uh, plot these numbers, so 3, 4, 7, uh, 8, 2, 5, OK? And plot these as pairs of numbers, as coordinates, then there's no real, uh, there's no kind of like, nothing telling me which is the independent, which is the de dependent variable here. So really, I could treat either those as the x's and those as the y's, which might be the natural way of thinking about it, because I wrote those on top and those at the bottom. But it would be just as uh, equivalent to really say, well, they could be the x's and they could be the y's. Okay? Um, 
it will have an effect upon some of the things that we consider in this set of videos. Um, but just so you, that you're aware, in the context of problems, um, that there is a difference between independent and dependent variables. And generally, the independent variable is drawn on the x-axis.